what if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. You're not thinking of going after her alone, are you? Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Clementine! Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Yeah, got your tongue? In case you haven't figured it out yet. This is Vernon. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Smart. I guess if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I guess you really don't care, do you? I had you all wrong. surgical supplies.
It's getting worse. Maybe it's not too late. Need to get out of here. Fast. Do this. You can do this. Here we go. One. Two. Three!
the house in Tuffin. I need to figure out a way to get down and somehow across town. Maybe head back towards the mansion and go after her from there. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Damn. It leads down to the street. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there. Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Jumping that. Damn it!
think you have to jump. God damn. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Time to go. They fucked us! What? Who? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just... Fuck! Did they have Clementine? No, definitely not. She's not with you? She's with someone else. Her parents were in Savannah, and I think someone used that against her. Well, we're going after her, right? Yeah, of course. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. A small, stupid thing. But yeah. Oh my god. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! I lived through it, which is a start. And well, uh... I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body? Hopefully whatever's gonna happen takes longer. Oh, God. Everything just... <sighs> Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Bandits, hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill. Here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they died. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. 
Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Finn. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Or something in there. Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need 
need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then? There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. Hey, don't stop. I'm okay. I'm Lily Parent. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys. I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not... <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. You couldn't do anything anyway. No, oh, except make sure Clementine had someone coming for her that wasn't liable to die on the way there. I wasn't gonna let that happen. I'm sure that's what that Larry guy or whoever said. He wasn't bitten. It was different. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. 